Welcome back to another luscious tutorial. My name is Lyndon Bracewell, and we're gonna learn some really cool stuff. By the way, something smells really weird about this sparkling water. It's supposed to be healthy. So you can see here that the text is actually morphing into the smoke. It's not like a smoke overlay. And this project is 100% inside After Effects. There's no third-party plugins. And the cool thing is it's procedural. So if we change the logo, then boom, it automatically updates. Action VFX is like, you better put our logo back, you little mischievous. By the way, I keep finding myself using the same effect in so many different projects. These are the kind of projects that are super fun. You're gonna be having so much fun that you're probably gonna to go to jail because the police are gonna think you're on drugs because you're just having so much fun doing this. Oh, and some quick news before we get started. I recently released my new coaching course on my website, visionaryfire.com. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. Let's go up here, hit new composition. How about we'll call this main 1920 by 1080, 29.97 frames per second. Make this about six seconds long. Let's hit okay. So I can just click fit so it fits to the viewer here. Let's go ahead and drop in our logo. So for a complex project like this, it'll take a little bit too long to explain the super, super basic details. So it is somewhat for intermediates, but I'll do the best I can to help the beginners as well. So we're gonna pre-compose and this basically puts the layer in its own unique composition. So we'll call this logo and just make sure it's move all attributes, that's important. And then I'll make the new comp the same size as our original comp. The reason why we do that is we're going to have multiple duplicates of this logo. And if we pre-compose it, then it'll render a lot faster. And also, if we change this logo, it'll update for all the duplicates. So I always like to have clear goals for you guys. So the first objective is to make this cool fractal transition just like this. Now, this one is super useful even if you don't want to do the full effect. It's a super cool transition and it's really easy to create. So basically you just have to create a new solid, layer new solid, and we'll call this fractal texture. So we are in the main composition, not the logo composition. What we're gonna do is create a new solid. So layer new solid. We'll call this fractal texture. So we're gonna apply the fractal noise effect. So I'm over here in the effects and presets window, apply the fractal noise effect and we're just gonna turn this layer off. So now we just see the logo, and if we apply an image wipe effect to the logo, CC image wipe, and for the gradient layer, we can choose the fractal texture, and it's important to turn on effects, so it sees the fractal noise effect here in the fractal texture. Then we can animate the completion, and we have this super cool disintegration fractal transition. Wow, 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 I bet you can imagine all the possibilities that can come from this. So this is a super cool look, but we're going for a little bit more of a soft, smoky look. So we're gonna go over here to the fractal noise, and you can see that if we change the fractal noise, it changes the look of the transition. So I'm gonna turn the complexity down to maybe like four, just like that. And then the transform settings, I'm gonna go uncheck the uniform scale, so I can create some more vertical streams. So we're kind of stretching it um, vertically. I also like to change the noise type to spline. It creates a more even soft look. Heck yeah, this is looking great. So now we can just animate the completion and it's gonna have this cool transition. So I wanna make the completion zero, we add a keyframe. And if you select the layer and hit U on the keyboard, it's gonna open the parameters that have the keyframes. Remember, U for used you're using the parameter with keyframes. It's a mnemonic, so you'll never forget that. Okay, so now we just go forward in time. For now, we'll try two seconds, but we might speed this up later. And then we're just gonna turn the completion to 100%. So now we can go back and watch this animation. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? And we can go to the image wipe effect and turn down the border softness. And one thing I'd like to do as well is add an echo effect. And it has this really fluttering, cool look. Let me maybe change the number of echoes to two, turn down the decay to 0.5, and then we can hold control on our keyboard and change this value subtly. And you're gonna see that we're gonna have this cool duplicated, it's gonna echo the effect throughout time. And it has this cool butterfly fluttering look, like brr, brr, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, but the echo effect basically makes 
duplicates of the effect and changes the timing based on what we put here. And instead of the add blending mode, I'm gonna choose behind in the back because so we keep the colors perfect. So now here's something optional I wanna do for people who are really going out with this effect. You can add a little trailing, um, trailing stuff behind it so it's a little bit more soft. So to do that, you would just duplicate both of these. So in the image wipe, we go to the gradient, make sure it's on the first one. And then basically what we do here is just um, push the timing forward a little bit so it's like trailing behind. And then we turn down the opacity, maybe to like 30%. And since we have multiple fractal noise textures, we can change the evolution as well. So it's in kind of a different random position, which will help. I love how that just flutters away. It just melts away, right? It makes me feel like I'm bathing in chocolate. Um, so now we're gonna give this a smoky look. So it's disintegrating, but we're gonna make it look like smoke. Some cool stuff coming up. So I'm just gonna pre-compose everything. And we're gonna call this disintegrate. All right, I don't want you guys in the comments making fun of my bad smell, smelling, spelling, not smelling. All right, guys, let's start over the tutorial. Right, so now we have the disintegration and we're gonna make this look like smoke. So here's the idea. Let me show you how this works. So we create a new adjustment layer and we call this turbulence. You guys can never guess what effect we're about to apply. Turbulent displace. What's the song? Turbulent displace, turbulent displace. Ah. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that's from. So if we make the size really small and then we turn down the opacity of this turbulence, ah, we're getting something here. And then we duplicate this turbulence again, change the evolution. You can see we're having this wispy look coming in, all right? So that's, the, that's how this effect works. Let's turn this um, amount down to zero and we're gonna animate this in. So the start should be about right here, add a keyframe to the amount. Remember, hit U, we can view the keyframes. Then we go forward. Let's just do here for now so we can see what we're doing. I'll say like 100. And then we can just drag this keyframe to the end of the animation. Nice, now I just wanna play with the look of this turbulence a little bit. Let's turn up the complexity to maybe two or three. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And if it's too much, you can just drag this out further and it'll kind of make the amount less. Look, that's looking really nice and now Edit duplicate or control D on the keyboard. Command D for our Mac people. And then we just change the evolution so it's another random look. Wow, so now we have that wispy, smoky feel coming in. Heck yeah, it looks like a, talking about a cool ghost effect. All right, I just wanna turn up the amount of this turbulence a little bit. So what you can do is click on the parameter and then go to the graph editor and then just lasso both of these keyframes and stretch it vertically so it's, it increases the amount like that. Whoa, look at, wow. That's just so fun layering all these effects together and just being surprised by the different creative results that. Now we needed this to kind of float upwards to look like it's rising like smoke and we're gonna do a cool thing where it's gonna accelerate upwards. This is super cool. So let's just create a new adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer and we'll call this scale wipe. And we're gonna apply a scale wipe effect. So I just type scale and scroll down, find the scale wipe, apply this to the adjustment layer. And you can see what this effect does is this cool stretching effect. This is gonna be perfect for the accelerating, floating um, physics of the smoke. So let's just turn this maybe to 0.5 and then let's just point this upward so it's zero. We can hold shift so it goes completely to zero. And then you can see as we move this down, it's gonna kind of float upwards. So let's make it start right here. Let's add a keyframe at the very beginning of the animation. So right here, keyframe the center, we hit U so we can view the keyframe right here. And we go to the end, let's go to the middle so we can see what we're doing. And we go just like that, maybe float that much. And then we can drag this keyframe to the end of the animation. So like so, perfect. And now here's the catch. So. If you turn down the opacity of this layer, let's say to 75, we can see a little bit of the original. And that, not only does that add more layers of wisp, but also it looks like it's streaming from the original. Like we see the original and then this stuff floating up. So it looks like it's emitting from the original. It's really starting to feel like smoke now. All right, it's just floating up a little bit too much. So I'm going to stretch out that keyframe. We hit U and stretch out this keyframe so it floats up a little slower. 
Omar is trying to do client projects, but I can't help him right now. I'm in the middle of recording. I'm like, Omar, you better answer all my calls. And he calls me. I'm like, uh, I didn't client. And then now I'm a hypocrite. Okay. So look at the utter lusciousness of this smoke effect, all right? It's so beautiful that probably Snoop Dogg's going to be watching this tutorial because he's going to be like, did somebody say smoke? Yada, yada, yada. He's the mother did the double G. Sorry, guys. No, don't do drugs. Gives your brain too much stimulation. It makes you depressed and makes your head do weird things. That's so awesome. Now, I got you guys are wondering, like, I thought the original example, it kind of wiped in from the side. Um, after this next step, I want to show you exactly how to do that. It's a super easy, super cool effect. The next thing we have to do is, like, overlay the real smoke on top of this fake smoke. Okay, and then you're going to see such a cool technique we do to make this morph into the real stock footage smoke. Okay, so the key thing is you gotta have the good assets. So, for instance, here on Action VFX, I'm using stock footage from Action VFX. They, they wanted me to do this tutorial for them so you guys can know about their elements. I mean, they have so much stuff. Blood, uh, explosions, fire, glass, gun effects, people, crowd. There's like so much um, visual effect that's super high quality. And you can create some really cool action visual effects with this. So, we're having the Black Friday sale starting November 25th. 55% off, wow. So you guys jump on the website and think about what projects you have and get their visual effects you need while it's still cheap. Umar is calling me again. Umar, I'm recording. We're gonna be using the energy burst from the energy effects and also if we go down here to weather, there's these cold breath elements. Now these things are really cool, they're super wispy. They have some really cool detail and movements. So check it out. So here's one of the energy bursts we're going to be using. Look at that fluid, juicy turbulence. Oh, it's just, look at that detail. It's so attractive, beautiful. Um, so these things are super cheap if you get the subscription and also with the Black Friday sale happening, these are affordable to anyone. So then there's a the cold breath. I really like this. They're all pretty nice. You just want to get ones that kind of blend well together. So let's just pre-compose all the work we've done so far so it's in one layer. Smoke effects. And then, so basically, we're just gonna drag and drop these cold breath elements on here and try to position them so that they blend with the text as good as possible. Now, it's not gonna blend completely, but we're gonna do another technique that's gonna make the two blend together. An important thing is we might have to speed up these elements, so a cool trick is you can hold Alt on the keyboard and stretch it just like that. Or you can go to time, time, stretch if you like wasting time. What really takes it to the next level is having the detail of these energy elements. Okay, so just like that. You can see I'm not worried about the positioning of the bottom. It's kind of a mess, but now we're gonna make the the smoke of the text morph into this detailed stock footage smoke. So the first step is you want to pre-compose. So we hold shift, select all the different stock footage elements, and we'll call this wispy smoke. I'm talking whipped cream wispy. So now we just need the logo by itself. So let's go to the logo composition that we created at the beginning of this tutorial, and let's copy that to the main composition. So here we just have the logo by itself. And we're just gonna delete all these other effects we have on the logo comp. So we have the logo above the wispy smoke, and then, and then we do alpha mat. You can see that this smoke is only gonna exist where the text is. So automatically that, wow, that looks really cool by the way. But what we're gonna do is apply effects to this logo and it's gonna change the alpha mat so that it kind of blends in, okay? So, okay, the first one I wanna add is a CC radial, uh, radial blur like this, okay? And I'm gonna move this center point down to the bottom, like really far down. And we're gonna change the type to fading zoom. And so when we, you can see what's kind of happening here. It's, we're kind of allowing the smoke to be visible more upward. And when we turn on the fast blur as well, you can see what kind of effect we're getting. And we can also boost the, we can apply a curves effect and boost the alpha channel. So 
so it's more visible just like this so this is kind of how the effect should end um, so we add keyframes to this point so the fast blur the amount maybe even the curves and then we go earlier to the beginning and let's turn these down to close to zero just like that so it's gonna morph look at that so let's just turn off the track map so we'll probably since there's transparency we'll do a solid composite effect to fill in that transparency with the color of our choice which will be black and then we can like turn down the brightness and we can apply a tint effect to play with the saturation so we can have this pure white and black so that it's like smoke again I'm gonna change this to alpha matte the blending mode to screen so so you guys get the point here of how it morphs from one to the other wow you just gotta love the the detail of this energy just all right guys pause time to spin the wheel to see if we do a giveaway all right let's spin the wheel you know what looks like i'm lucky this time fair and square you guys gotta like and subscribe just kidding guys if you have benefited from this training please don't forget to leave a like so let me just do an example to make this energy element be on the logo a little bit better i can move it change the timing maybe even draw a mask on this and then I can just <clears throat> animate the expansion. So I open this mask here to a keyframe. I turn the expansion down and I go forward, turn the expansion up. So you can see this energy element looks a lot better now because it looks like it's actually coming from the text. Hey, the school bus going by. Hey kids, you wanna learn After Effects? After Effects is lame. I say TikTok's lame. Anyway, um, kids. All right, so now let's talk about how do we do that wipe effect where it goes from left to right. You guys are gonna love this effect. So I like to keep everything kind of in a hierarchy. So I'm just gonna pre-compose all this and we're gonna call this stock footage. That's kind of what we did in this comp. So, so what we have to do is create a new solid, layer new solid, and this is gonna be a gradient that's gonna define the direction in which it's gonna reveal. So we're gonna do a gradient ramp apply this to the new solid just like so so now we're gonna apply a time displacement effect to the logo now here's the thing this effect can get really slow so you might want to pre-render out all this work you have here otherwise we're gonna go to quarter resolution and the first frame always takes longer to render but then it can render the other frames faster so we're in this time displacement we're going to choose our gradient layer and we're going to make sure it, we see the effects as well so it sees that gradient effect and you'll see what's happening so basically it's di displacing time based on the gradient so this is like one second to the future and this is the present so you know if you turn up the max displacement it's going to displace time even more so this is going to be more in the future and this is going to be more in the past and you see we have kind of a problem we go to the beginning because it's not the beginning of the effect and then we scoot it forward you can't see the layer so what we're going to do is right click and do time enable time remapping so that we can extend this so this time displace is a really cool effect i'm talking about time displacement like time traveling kind of like how you wish you could travel back in time and not say your marriage vows so this has a lot of possibilities because we don't just have to do a horizontal gradient we can do anything we can do fractal noise um, anything to this gradient it has really cool time displacement effects is that luscious or is that luscious i need you guys to comment luscious in the comments right now so i can give you guys some hearts you guys give me some engagement in this video look how smooth that is whoa holy smokes now the other super cool part is the electricity this is procedural so it updates to whatever text we have this tutorial is getting too long and this is a separate effect so it should be in a different tutorial i don't even know if you guys want this i will do a tutorial if you guys request it in the comments so request in the comments right now if you guys want me to do this the electricity and all the other cool things like the environment and details that make this look awesome Hey guys, again, don't forget to visit me at visionaryfire.com. Our community is having so much fun. I've had so much fun hanging out with you guys, being creative with After Effects. My name is Lennon Bracewell, and until next time, I'll leave you to it.